Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> يا أيها الناس تقر ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحد وخلق منها زوجها وبث رجالا كثيرا والنساء وتق لا تسألون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا تق لا وقولوا كولا سديدا يسلحكم مالكم ويكفر لكم دنوبكم وما يتل الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما إن الحمد لله Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Hu Alali Jalan Muslimin And we thank Allah so much For making us Of those who are in service to Him As Muslims Alhamdulillah There are many things for us to be thankful for on this day Not the least of which It's Friday Yawm al-Juma is a day to be thankful Very thankful for but also because he let us be here together. Another thing to be thankful for. Another thing to be thankful for, this is the first day of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Kualadi Jalla Muslimin. Alhamdulillah. So we're being thankful as much as we can. Because we know, and we say it in our prayer many times every day, Allah, He's listening to the one who is giving the hamd, the praise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want Allah to listen to my dua. You want Allah to hear you. So you praise Allah. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. Today, the first day of Shah Ramadan. MashaAllah, this is a great day for us to do something that we never did before and I wanted to start it here in this masjid because it was here in this masjid some time ago that we had a chance to tell you about an idea a dream we said we want to have a television channel for Islam we said we want to have a television channel for Islam in America Broadcast 24 hours a day with no commercials, no advertising. It's for Allah, a Dawa TV channel. Not to make money, but something better. To make a place in Akhara, in the hereafter. For us and for all the people of the United States and Canada. We had this dream and we talked about it right here in your masjid. And brothers supported it. Alhamdulillah. So, now we have been on the air for one and a half years broadcasting 24 hours a day all English everything English nothing confusing for the people many non-muslims watching this channel even now and it's live and that we also ask Allah to accept from us and we thank Allah for giving us this opportunity because right now we're live right here in this masjid in Detroit Michigan talking to the whole world not only are we on the satellites across America and that's the United States, Canada, Hawaii and Alaska, but also all around the world on the internet. And this year we added, alhamdulillah, something else to be thankful for. You can now get the app for Guide Us TV on your iPhone. Or if you have the Android phone, you can also watch it on Flash. So this is another thing to be thankful for. Because now, instead of people going and watching junk TV, our children getting misguided, <clears throat> playing on the internet, things like this, we have a place for them to go <coughs> to get the authentic, <coughs> real message about real Islam. Huda TV, 
joined along with Peace TV to help us make this happen. We could have never done it by ourselves. By them helping us, and we help them because we give them free material. We record stuff and they use it. And inshallah, you're going to see a lot more of it coming out. I know many of you watch the channel, many of our youth are watching our channel. And I want to increase that to more and more and more around the United States, especially the Muslim communities. Because as soon as we have certain numbers, when we reach so many million, then we're able to go to the cable and the dish network. Can you imagine that? Finally, we'd have our own voice right up there with the people attacking Islam. We can show the real truth and then it solves a lot of problems. This is what we've been dreaming about for so many years and Allah has given it to us. Should we be thankful? Yes. Very thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So on this day, imagine, in this month and in this very place where we are right now, we have a lot to be thankful for. And what I'm saying to you is very similar to what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was saying in the khutbah de wada In the khutbah de wada which was at Arafat, that was in Hajj, he was saying on this day and in this place, you remember this words? And I'm amazed at how, how effective this is when we think about what's really happening, what Allah is really doing for us, we can be so thankful to Allah. Yesterday, we were having very big difficulties. I was in Washington, and we're moving our studios from Washington, D.C. to Columbus, Ohio. There's a lot of difficulties with this when you're just two or three people trying to do a lot of things. Many volunteers trying to help us, but it became very difficult, and people were getting upset and began shouting things like, this Muslims, you know. One brother, he said, I'm upset with this brother because he did this, he did so, so. I said, guess what? Both of you, you're doing the same thing for the sake of Allah. Both of you. The only problem is, shaitan is working harder today than any other day out of the year. Because he knows he's tied up tomorrow. He knows. Shaitan knows he's going to be tied up. So he's pushing all of us. That's why we feel like this. They say, well, Allah, you're right. And everybody relax. And within a few minutes, we got everything going. A big truck, a volunteer brought in an 18-wheeler truck, picked up our stuff, mashallah. And they went to Ohio and they got it there this morning. Look at the miracles that Allah is doing for us all the time. We don't even think about it. We just say, I want more. I want more. How come this didn't work? I want this. I want, I want. Let's stop and be thankful for what we have. Do you have two eyes? If not, do you have one? If not, do you have two ears? I guarantee you, you must have something if you're listening to my voice. So Allah gave you something. But are we thankful for that? Or do we keep saying, I want more? Hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the meaning in English. If the son of Adam, Beni Adam, has mountain, Jabal, of, new, of uh, gold, of gold, he wants another one just like it but the one who is thinking who reflects on what Allah gave us <clears throat> he becomes happy with what he has and this is hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam somebody asked him how to be content he said then just be happy with what you have and you'll find peace you want peace salam inside of yourself be happy with what Allah gives you. And this we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us, uh, those people, praising Him and thanking Him for what we have. Alhamdulillah, we have Juma. We have Ramadan. We have our television channel. And we have each other. Inshallah. But most important of all, the Hidayah. This, don't ever take it for granted. The guidance of Allah. That's why we call the channel Guide Us. Guide us. May Allah always guide us. I mean.
بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين فأنا أستقو هديتي كتاب الله وقالوا هدية هدية محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وأشروا الأمور المتثاتها وكل متثات بدع وكل بدعة دلالة وكل دلالة في النار Very important for us in our thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to do what He wants us to do, the minimum. Start with this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, Salah is in its time. The Salah in its time. And believers, they find what they're looking for in the Salah and Sabr. What you looking for? And in Surah Baqarah, Allah talks about this. I need sakina. I need it. And I need to feel peace inside of myself. How can I get this? One brother sent me an email this morning talking about a condition he has, some problem. He said, I think shaitan is bothering me. I wrote back to him. I said, the things you described in your letter, you're having it even in Ramadan, Maybe it's more than just shaitan. Maybe you're not really establishing yourself with Allah properly. Or maybe you need to see a doctor. Maybe you've got some internal problem. Because in the month of Ramadan, the shaitan is tied up. It doesn't mean he's dead. It means he's tied up. He can't do as much. So this is our chance. You and I, we can really get out and do some of the things would seem like too difficult. I want to memorize Quran, but uh, I got these problems. I want to do more Salah, but I got these problems. In the month of Ramadan, this is the month, it's easier to do these things. This is the month of the Quran. This is the month when it was revealed. In fact, the Laylatul Qadr, how important is Laylatul Qadr? And look what Allah says about that in the Quran. Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr Wa ma adraka ma Laylatul Qadr Laylatul Qadr Khairun min Alfi Alf Alf Alfi shahr Better than 1,000 months Not 1,000 days or nights 1,000 months About 83 years Longer than most of us will live Catch that one night in Ramadan. The first Ramadan, I stayed up every single night. Why? Because I didn't know for sure which one it was. I didn't know all about the discussions of the odd nights, the last 10 days, the 27th. Blah, blah. I, didn't, I said, I'm not taking any chances. I'm a new Muslim. I got to make up for a lot every night every night every night even i lived out in the country far away from muslims but still i would get up we had no electricity <laughs> that's true so we lit a candle i had to have a candle so i could see but i didn't want to miss one night and by the way i only knew three or four surahs i just say them over and over and over because i don't want to miss this night and i didn't know what allah is going to give me I thought I wanted to get my business better. I, I had a business in, uh, before. Instead, I kept getting more dawa. More people want to know about Islam. Why are you dressed with a dress on? Why do you have a beard? People I used to know in the church are asking me, why do you look like this? What happened to you? I said, I became a Muslim. Oh, you became a Muslim? I said, yes. One lady, she said, you can't be a Muslim. I said, why? She said, you're not from there. I said, what do you mean? You know, over there. I said, over where? She said, wherever it is they come from. So I explained to her, Islam. I didn't know much then, but a little bit. You know, Islam, it means peace with Allah. Do what Allah wants you to do. Find peace with Allah through surrender, submission, obedience to Him. You want to do what God wants you to do? She said, you know it. I said, you believe in God? She said, I'm in church all the time. Of course I believe in God. I said, and if you believe in God, you want to do what God wants you to do, this is Islam. She said, oh, that's nice. In Arabic, it's Islam. Okay. I said, and 
A Muslim is somebody who does Islam because they don't have er at the end like Islam er. They have mu in the front, mu Islam, Muslim. She said, oh, I see. I said, so if you do Islam, she said, yeah, you could be a Muslim. She said, huh? I said, yeah, you can be a Muslim. She said, no, I can't. I said, why? She said, I'm not from over there. Do you understand the problem she has? Do you know? She doesn't understand because nobody explained it. But since we opened the television channel 18 months ago, we've had many people, when we have our live call in, we have an 800 number, if they call in live, when, when, like right now, we're live, but of course in Juma, we're not gonna have a call in. They call and they make shahada, they ask questions, they want to know more. Many of them new Muslims, some of them, they come to Islam, many of them change their mind and they say, wait a minute, this sounds very nice. The children's programs, the cartoons and the nasheed that we have on there has helped a lot for the non-Muslim to see Islam in a whole different picture. And then when we have good sheikhs who come on in English and explain, they love it. And our chance, you and me, our chance with this is very simple. We don't have to start up more TV stations. That's not the solution anyway. What we just need to do is increase the number of people watching this channel. Right now it's about 220,000 homes across the United States and, and Canada. 220,000. Sounds like a lot. Except that we have between 7 and 11 million Muslims. And we have over 300 million non-Muslims. So we have a lot of work to do. How can we do it? And that's why I came today, especially here for the first day of Ramadan, because I want this to set the tone for everything we're going to do in this month of Ramadan. And by the way, brothers, if you'll all come up, you got a lot of room back there, and it's not right that you got people standing up in the back there. Come on, let's all be closer. I promise I won't bite you hard. I love all of you. I want you to be close to me. Here in this life and close to me in Jannah. Amin. Zakam Allah khair. We're talking about being appreciative to Allah and thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has also given us a way that we can put our hands together all the time, not just once in a while. When we go out to get support for the channel, we don't do this thing, you know, like when you raise, raise funds for a masjid or a school, you have to say who has 20,000, who has 50,000, right? You have to, because you need a lot of money. But this channel actually needs a lot of people with a little bit of money every month because the bills are every month, every month, every month, every month. If you miss one month, channel's gone. This, that's how it works. You don't pay, you don't play. That's what they say. So this is why in this month of Ramadan we have to put a focus on raising funds for the channel. But not with 20 or 50,000. You can do a small amount and it counts as zakah if you want to take some portion of your zakah you can do that why is because we asked the ulama and they said this is a dawah channel do you charge money i said no do you make any money i said we lose money <laughs> we, we don't make anything we don't have commercials and we don't charge people to watch it there's no subscription there's nothing in fact most of the people who come to our channel are shocked the channel going, growing, keeps it in your home for your family, for your children, and especially the dawah for the non-Muslims. This is one of the answers to the big problem of us not getting the message out to the people. And it's a place that they can actually call in and ask their question directly. It really does change. But we need to work harder to make it reach more places, inshallah ta'ala. So, after the Juma Khutbah, sorry, excuse me, after the Juma Khutbah,
they're going to have a chance for everybody here to join us. And you can find out more about it. We have some stuff at the different locations. We can go out the door. They will pass something around here and give you a chance to do something there. But the main thing you want to do is remember this is Ramadan. Make the niyyah for Allah and ask Allah to keep this thing going and going and going. That's the main thing. So that the next time when I come back, I have a better report with more good news, more for us to thank Allah about it. And now I want to wrap it up by going back to the original thing I was saying that I'm thankful to Allah for so many things. And I say, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, so much. Shukr Allah, Alhamdulillah. Nashkur Allah. We all thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for what He gives us. But one of the things that He gives us that we forget about is each other. I'm looking at you, all of you right now, and it makes me happy. I am so happy when I look at you and I think these brothers here are my brothers and sisters in Islam here. You have the same idea that I do. There's only one God. La ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah. And you have the same desire for his Jannah, his Akhir. And you're willing to do whatever it takes. And part of that is taking care of each other. And I love that. When I grew up, I had three sisters and no brothers. And I used to say, oh God, give me some brothers. I want brothers. When I was little. I said, it's the only thing I didn't get. I asked many things from God. Even as a Christian, you know, Allah, He takes care of everybody. Whatever they have in this life is coming from Allah. But when I was 47 years old, and I entered into Islam, Allah gave me one and a half billion brothers and sisters. And for that I'm very, very thankful. I want all of us to be thankful for each other too. Whoever doesn't thank the people, he doesn't thank Allah. This hadith of Rasul And Allah told us in the Quran why we're fasting. He did. Why? To get taqwa. We need taqwa. Which is to put a shield between ourselves and Allah's ghadab on the day of judgment. This is a very important point. We're going to be talking about this month. You guys at home, you're going to watch another series we got coming up about that. Is the taqwa in Ramadan. And finally, this one little point. What day does Ramadan start? On the Islam Newsroom, one of our many websites, we have 2,200 websites, by the way. And this website, Islam Newsroom, the feature article today, top left corner. What day does Ramadan start? That's not even the question. That's the wrong question. Do you know why? Ramadan doesn't start in the day. It starts at night, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Why aren't we saying what night does it start? Because when it starts, the first thing is not the fasting or eating some food in the morning so I will be full all day. The first thing is the taraway, right or wrong? As a matter of fact, you see this Hilal just after the sun is setting. So sometime between Maghrib and Isha is when people see the Hilal. Huh? That's when you see it. So Isha, Taraway. That's what we should be asking about. As far as some scholar said it's going to be on this night or that night, it doesn't matter. If he's a scholar, if somebody said they saw it and they take that, even if they're wrong, what did Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say? What did he say? When an alim makes ijtihad and he comes up with an answer, if he's correct, he has double reward with Allah. Yeah? But if he's wrong, he still has one full reward with Allah. So don't get upset. You're not ulama. This is not your job. Listen to the ulama. Follow your imam. Finally, the month of Shaban
cannot have 31 days. It cannot. No month in the lunar calendar can have 31 days. Once we completed 31, 30 days, we knew it was time for today to be the first day of Ramadan. There's no question. But even then, if somebody didn't start today, and we know some in Chicago didn't, it's still okay. They're still Muslim. Maybe a mistake. What will they do, you'll say? What will they do whenever everybody's having Eid and they only have 28 days of fasting? What will they do? Hmm? Did you know it happened at the time of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Huh? Ask the ulama, they know about it. Don't pick on each other, take it easy. Somebody came to the Muslims, a Muslim came, he's fasting in the month of Ramadan. But then, while he's there, somebody said they cited the Hilal. Rasul Sallallahu confirmed it. And this man came to me and he said, but I have only 28 days. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi is saying, well, we're, we're having Eid tomorrow. We break our fast tomorrow. He said, but I have only 28 days. He said, break your fast, Eid with us, and fast the next day. Finish. Don't make a big deal out of it. Don't hurt each other. Don't divide yourselves up. People have different opinions. It's okay. You take the strongest opinion with the most evidence. But if somebody else doesn't, that's their problem. We have to learn how to love each other for the sake of Allah and understand the difference between something that's a mistake and something that's not really in Islam. Got it? Stop for Allah. We got to say that a lot. Stop for Allah. Stop for Allah. And then what else? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm going to end with the hadith of Rasulullah He said, the best kalama, kalama tayyaba, la ilaha illallah, the best dua. What's the best dua? Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. And in another riwayah, alhamdulillah. Keep it simple, keep it often, and may Allah accept your Ramadan, Allah accept your fasting, Allah accept your Salah, Allah accept your Zakah, Allah accept from you all of your effort, your niyyah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always make our community grow and go and grow for His sake. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen. Rabbana ati na fi dunya hasan wa fil akirti hasan wa kina da banar. Rabbana la tu zikulu bana bada id ha daytana wa hablana mila duka rahma inaka anta waha. Allahumma inni dalam tu nafsi lumen kathirin wa la yakfru the nubi illa ant fikfurli mikfur to min indik wa hamni inaka anta gafur rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. Nama salat ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim inaka hamni al majid. And Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Hu Allah Di Jam Al Muslimin Ikham Al Salat La ilaha illa Allah La ilaha illa Allah La ilaha illa Allah Ma lana Rabbun Siwa La ilaha illa Allah Oh, uh -huh.